In the 2018 draft, the Atlanta Hawks decided to trade Luka Doncic to the Mavericks for the fifth pick, Trey Young. And there are a lot of reasons why that was probably a bad move. But the number one reason really is that the Hawks traded a player that if he retired right now, would be inducted into the Hall of Fame. You heard me correctly. Luka Doncic has potentially already secured a case for the Hall of Fame. Okay, I know that could be a bit of a shock to you, and it was to me because I first heard this idea on a Twitter post by Dom2K, and I was kind of thrown back by how true it is. Before we talk about his resume, let's first talk about the loose requirements for making the Basketball Hall of Fame. Some may view this as a way that the Hall of Fame is dumb and Luka being in the Hall of Fame really isn't a big deal now that I think about it. But uh, basically, the Basketball Hall of Fame does not require any NBA experience in any shape or form. It is the Basketball Hall of Fame, not the NBA Hall of Fame. And accomplishments outside of the NBA can have serious sway towards a player's case. The best example here to compare to Luka is draws. And Petrovich. Drazen played in the NBA for five seasons. The first two years were spent on the Portland Trail Blazers where he had an insignificant role off of the bench, getting no more than 16 minutes per game. He was then traded to the New Jersey Nets where he averaged 20 points per game for the last two seasons, and then he died in a car crash in Europe which brought his NBA career to an abrupt end. But those Nets teams weren't good in any way. They weren't a team that we look back on. They were a first round exit to the Cavaliers for two straight seasons. That's it. The best player on two six seeds in the early 90s is in the Hall of Fame. And that's because of how damn good he was in the EuroLeague. A few high scoring seasons and two EuroLeague championships and FIBA MVPs. He was solid in the NBA, but nowhere near a Hall of Fame level player. But his play in the EuroLeague earned him a spot in the Hall of Fame. And his resume is actually so impressive that I think it's quite ridiculous that people question him being in the Hall. Anyways, here's how this applies to Doncic. In the EuroLeague in his three seasons, Luka Doncic won EuroLeague MVP, the youngest ever to win it at just 19, an accomplishment Drazen never got. He led his team to the EuroLeague Championship, winning the Final Four MVP. He made the All EuroLeague First Team, and that was just last season. He won the ACB MVP, which is the MVP of a professional Spanish team. He won the ACB Championship three times. He led Slovenia to a EuroBasket Championship alongside Goran Dragic. And here are a few more smaller accomplishments. Now, Drazen put up better numbers in the EuroLeague. League, but the EuroLeague and its scoring history have changed a lot. If you go back to the early 2000s, there are multiple 20-point scorers in the EuroLeague. But in 2018, Luka Doncic was third in scoring at just 16 points per game. That is not because of a reduction in talent in the EuroLeague. Rather, it is because the EuroLeague has a very 2014 Spurs type of team, where no player's individual numbers look that great because they play team ball and they do not end emphasize individual numbers, they focus more on being efficient as a team. Luka is the most accomplished teenage player to ever come into the NBA. How much he accomplished in so little time is almost enough to make him a Hall of Famer as is. Winning a EuroLeague MVP at the age of 19 is enough of a feat to put his name into the conversation. Add in everything else and it's not crazy to believe that Luka Doncic is a Hall of Fame candidate already. Even if Luka has a mediocre NBA career, averaging like 15 points and like a couple assists for his career, don't be surprised when you hear his name being inducted into the hall alongside the likes of Carl Anthony Towns, Giannis, and Anthony Davis. That's the end of this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more NBA content like this, and cue the outro music.